Throw, 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 throw it up. <laughs> Start twerking like Miley. Oh, yeah. Twerking like Miley. Don't pop it like Miley. What's up, guys? Coming at you with a new quest guide today. It is going to be on Zogre Flesh Eaters. Now, I have already uh, just just started. I just talked to Grish because I had to do a clue. But So, what you will need for this quest, um, what you kind of need right away would be a uh, bowstring, wolf bones, hammer, about a hundred nails, um, some food. Uh, I just I'm bringing a super restore because it brings back my stats. Um, teleports. Now I don't have use. I'm not using runes for teleports because I have tabs to my house and I have all my teleports there. Um, Ring of dueling, pretty much so you can get to castle wars and around. Uh, knife, uh, stamina potions if you have them, and or. Uh, Agility potion, anything that'll help you with your stuff. Everything you're going to require for this, uh, for the quest is um, 100 nails. Like I said, you'll be making 100 flighted ochre arrows. Uh, hammer you have, archery, tree log, wolf bones, knife, bowstring, food, armor, and weapon. As far as uh, armor, I'm just using my helm. My Fury, Black Dragon Hide. Uh, I'm using Boots of Lightness to give me a little bit of lighter. Uh, Sarah Sword for my weapon. Barrow's Gloves. Um, Alright guys, now since I already... Oh, I guess uh, the requirements you're going to need for quest requirements are Jungle Potion and Big Chompy Bird Hunting. Uh, skills, other requirements, stuff like that. 8 Herbalore, 30 Ranged. 4 smithing, 30 fletching, and you'll be fighting, I think it's a 111 at the end, but it's not not too difficult. Um, items acquired during the quest, 2 super restores, which you get from talking to Grish, uh, some cooked chompy, torn page, ruined backpack, knife, rotten food, dragon in tankard, that's all the stuff. I'll explain that as we get to it. Uh, it's a fairly long quest. Not horrible, but fairly long. Okay, guys. So in order to start the quest, you are going to talk to Grish. Now ask him about the sickies and then offer to help. Once you do that, he'll give you your super restores and stuff like that. I'm also bringing an antidote for, for anti-poison. Once you do that, guys, you will come over here. Oh, also, guys, a vial of water, which I'll just get from the bank later. Um, now you come over here, talk to this guard, and once you talk to him and go through the text, he will destroy this for you, and then you'll be able to climb over. Now, if you're lower combat, I, I want to say 90 or below, these guys will attack you. But since I'm not 90 or below, I'm fine. They don't attack me. Also, guys, if these do attack you, they will lower your stats. So just be aware. That's kind of what the super restores are for. All right, when you come in here, I believe you're going to run northwest, which is over here, up here. Up here. When you come up here, you are going to come into a cutscene. This is a great cutscene, guys. Just kind of bear through it here. Hit the button, and you'll be out of the cutscene. All right, guys, come over here and search this broken lectern. You are going to get a torn page. Come around here, search this skeleton, and this 39 zombie will come up. Nothing crazy. He's easy. I'm going to blast him with some lightning. So just kill him. 
and pick up this ruined backpack. Okay, guys, come over here, search this coffin. It's going to give you this text. Now, first, I want you to open your backpack. You're going to need three inventory slots for this. Three. You'll get. I, I brought a knife with me, but you'll get a knife. So you're going to get a knife, this rotten food, and this dragon in tanker. All right. Now you're going to use your knife on the coffin. Okay. All right. Search the coffin. <laughs> and there we go. I believe if your strength is higher, you'll get you'll get it quicker. Search the coffin and you are going to get this black prism. All right, guys, after you get the black prism, now you should have three items or yeah, three items, black prism, tankard, and this rotten food. What we are going to do now is we are going to go to Yanil. So for me, you just rub your ring, go to Castle Wars. If you have Watchtower Watch Tower Teleport, which I do, you can use that. But since I don't know if everybody will have that, I'm just going to run there so you'll see. So teleport to Castle Wars. Run east. Sip some uh, stamina. <laughs> All right, guys, keep running east, 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 east. You're going to be going to the inn, the bar, which is, I believe, southwest. All right, here we go. Yanil, open the doors. Catch that ninja impling if I could. All right, and right down here, guys. As soon as you go through the doors, you go right through here. All right, guys, once you get in here, find the bartender and use your dragon in tankard on him. Go through the text. Which basically means space bar the hell out of it. <laughs> Alright guys, and then after that you're going to run over here, I'll show you, to the Magic Guild. And you're going to speak to, I don't remember his name. I'm just going to come over here, ring this bell. Zavistic, there you go. I'm here about the Sicker Zogers. You're going to show him the, I believe, the prism and the torn page. Go through the options. Now, oh, you don't need to do that one, guys. That's the man again. All right, you don't have to be. You hit this one. No, you don't have to, guys. You don't have to go through the options for this one. Alright guys, once you're done talking with him, run over here to this house. Go upstairs. And there should be somebody sleeping. Yes, yeah, Sithic. Alright, talk to him. Uh, anything about the... Ask him, do you know anything about the undead ogres? Jiggly jigigig. Go through the text. Do you mind if I look around? It's going to talk about. All right, guys, again, you're going to need three inventory spots again. Let me get around one of these dice. You're going to need three inventory slots. Spots. Come over here, search the drawers, and you're going to get papyrus, papyrus, uh, Charcoal, papyrus, and this book of portraits. Alright guys, now what you're going to do now is use the papyrus on Sithic. 
you're gonna sh after you're done use it on him alright guys I believe I got it on the first try yeah, I believe I got it the first try now when he says appreciates the honesty that's how you know you got it right you need him to say about appreciating the honesty what it said in my chat that's what you need appreciating the honesty now what we're gonna do is go back over to the bar and I will resume when we get over there guys alright guys first if you if you do not get the honesty for that guy over there just drop the portrait and search the drawers again and you'll get more papayas and again just keep doing it till he says honesty alright when you get here use the portrait on the bartender he's gonna say yeah that's the guy he'll sign your portrait and there you go now go back over to the house where Sith is. I'll record. I'll begin when I get over there, guys. All right, guys. Once you get here, come in here again. You're gonna need some inventory spots. Search the wardrobe. You're gonna get. Oh, where to go? You're gonna get this book, Book of Ham. Okay. Come over here. Search the cupboard. You're going to get the Book of Necromancy. I believe. You can't really read. Alright, now head back over to the Mage's Guild where you rang the bell. So run over here. Ring the bell. And there he is. Talk about the sick ogres. Have some items I'd like you to take a look at. run through the text you're gonna show him everything and he's going to give you strange potion alright guys run back over to Sith run upstairs okay come in here use the potion on him he's gonna tell you no come over here use the potion on his cup of tea now run back over to the wizard alright guys just talk to him he'll ask you if you use the tea now run back to Sith and if this all went correctly he should be an ogre yes and he is alright now what you're gonna do is go through all these questions just spam through them quickly because of course I'm telling you what to do here Okay. Alright guys, what you have to do now is go, you have to get some snake weed and also at this time you're going to run to the bank and grab your vial of water. Alright guys, get your vial of water now okay alright now what I want you to do is go to where you did jungle potion which you had to do jungle potion in order to do this so go to where you did jungle potion we have to get some snake weed and um, the other one that's in the trees so go to the start of jungle potion and then I will resume from there and show you where to go Guys, if you have the fairy rings, I'm going to show you a quick way to get there. It's going to 
B. Which one is it? CKR, the Karamja Taiwana Village. CKR. Okay. And once you go here, you are going to be going, I believe it's right here. Um, I will begin recording when I get to the spot. All right, guys, right here, which is this spot right here on the map. So pretty much right here. Okay. And you're going to search this marshy jungle vine and search there you go and that is going to give you your snake weed now the next place we are going to go is right no 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 right here and again you'll be going to that tree same thing you did in the jungle potion so as soon as I get right here I will begin recording you are right here so you're going to run up here to right here. Right here. All right, guys, I'll become recording when I get there. Okay, guys, once you get here, come over here. I believe, yeah, search palm tree. I believe there's only one tree you can search. And you will get grimy ar ardidle. 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 <laughs> ardidle. Okay, guys, I lied. We are not needing this Ardenal stuff. What you're going to do is, you are just right here, you're just going to run over here to this little spot right here. Right here. So I said to run here. It's not here. You're going to be going right here. You will climb down go through a little text alright guys run south and you're gonna see this stuff I think it's this yes search the fungus on the wall come on there you go until you get rogues purse Alright guys, once you have that, use your ring of dueling and tele back, teleport to Castle Wars. Okay. Now use, clean off both of your things. Use your rogue's purse on the vial. And then use the snake weed. And you will get Requiem, Requiem's bomb all right now we are going to be fighting a uh, little disclaimer guys if you are a lower level like you don't have 60 attack 60 defense at least 60 strength you're gonna want to buy the composite ogre bow and brutal arrows if you are above that then you'll be fine to melee him but I'm going to, what can I get rid of here? I don't need this. I'm just going to grab a few extra sharks just in case, but I don't really think I'll need them at all. Oh, phone, what are you doing? All right, now what you're going to do is run back over here to where you started the quest. And talk with... Grish. Uh, go with the top option and you should get a key. Yes, it's going to give you a key. Alright, now just in case, go through all these options because he's going to talk about the, the ogre bow. And talk about curing the disease. It's always safe just to go through all the option guys. All right, that should be good. You can also make the brutal arrows and all that stuff also. 
but if you're doing this quest, you chances are you have the higher attack strength and defense, so you should be fine. Now we are going to run back into the cave. All right, guys, down this little tunnel. Again, make sure you go through all the options. Now I believe it is west. Right? Yeah. Just go straight west and then south through these doors. Okay. Down the stairs. All right. And then you run all the way over here. Make sure I have melee prayer on. You, sh you probably are meleeing, so just use melee prayer. Food is just kind of cautionary. All right, when you get here, search this stand. Big guy's going to pop out. All right. Now you are going to not hit crazy because you're not using the brutal arrows, but it really doesn't take long at all. Guys, I'll continue as soon as I get him almost dead. Alright guys, once you get him to die, again this will take a little while because you are not using the ogre arrows and stuff. Alright, now pick up this. Make sure you pick up the ogre artifact. Zogre bones, org bones. Org bones. Guys, the nails, they were for if you're making the uh, arrows, I believe. Alright, now what we're going to do is run back to where you started the quest. So run back out here, back up these stairs. Go through the doors, guys, and then go east, back to where you started the quest. I'll resume when I get there. All right, guys, once you get back, come over here. Where is he? Talk with Grish. Yeah, I have them here. He'll take it, blah, blah, blah. And there you go, quest complete. 2,000 range, fletching, and herbalore experience, one quest point. Can now make brutal arrows and cure disease potions. All right, guys. I hope that uh, helped you a little bit. Um, if you want to comment, subscribe, share, let me know what I can do better in the comments. Uh, anything to uh, better my quest later. Uh, let me know, guys, and I will see you with the next quest guide or my uh, Tamak series or whatever I do. All right. Thanks, guys.